Hey guys, Mr. Myas is here and uh, coming from you from my home home office here. And we are going to look at some probabilities. So I want to talk about some probabilities and look at doing um, conditional probabilities in three different formats. Tables and um, Venn diagrams and tree diagrams. Let's take a look. All right, so my first one here is I've got a table, uh, a table of probabilities. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the table. This is often called a two-way table or a contingency table. And we're going to go and fill this table in um, with the probabilities. And then we are going to answer the question, if the person does not smoke, what is the probability that he or she drinks? Now, that's a conditional probability because it's an if-then statement. Sometimes we even have it as um, given, right? What is the probability that someone drinks given they don't smoke? So we... It's, you know, it, it's flipped there because we're doing an if then, um, but uh, the if then, if somebody doesn't smoke, what's the probability he or she drinks? That's the same as saying, was the probability that they drink given that we know that they don't smoke? Okay, so that's called a conditional probability, which we'll calculate once we fill in the table. So let's go and fill in the table. It's pretty easy to fill in. You just uh, make sure that these two numbers here add up to 880. So this one's going to be 0.67. So that 0.67 and 0.13 add up to 0.8. This one's going to be 0.2, so that they add up to 1. And then I'm going to go and fill in the other two. Boom, just like that, they're magically filled, right? The wonders of video. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the formula for conditional probability. It's the probability of A given B is going to be the probability of A and B happening. So I'll, it's intersection, but I'll say and. Divided by the probability of B. Okay, that's going to be your condition. Or divided by the condition. So I've I, what I always like to tell my students is always write this out. So always write out the formula so you're dividing by the correct probability. Whenever you're doing a conditional probability, you must be dividing by a probability. So in this case, we are dividing. Um, the probability of somebody drinking given given that we know that they do not smoke that's how we translate this if then statement here is going to be the probability that we they do both drinking and not smoke divided by the probability that they do not smoke now so when we have this situation we're going to go and plug in what we know now the probability of drinking of somebody drinking and not smoking in a table format, we don't have to actually do any multiplication because the table format will already, all you gotta do is look at the condition, all right? You look at the intersection, okay, of drink and not smoke, and that's gonna be 0.67. So this value is gonna be 0.67. Divided by the probability that they don't smoke, that's down here, that is a marginal. Okay, that's a marginal percentage, so I'm going to say that's 0.85. And then I'm going to calculate that. I'm going to put it in. I like to use this guy. Okay, just a little calculator is fine. And you're going to get 0.788. All right. And that is how you do a conditional probability with a table. Let's take a look at the next one, which is a tree diagram. All right, so I'll give you a second. Pause it right here so you can read the stem of the question. All right, now that you know the stem of the question, we're gonna go ahead and, and fill in this, this tree diagram. I know this is a tree diagram because um, it, in order the probabilities change depending on whether this is a public or a not public school student. So knowing that that changes, we're gonna go ahead and fill that in and we're gonna know that that's a tree diagram. So the probability that they're coming from a public school is 0.7, which means that the probability that they come from something not public is 0.25. You know, that, I guess that could be like charter or private or some, you know, a different type of school. 75% of the public students graduate. So that's 0.75 here, which means that 0.25 don't graduate. And then it gives me the last piece of information that 90% of other freshmen or the ones that don't go to, that came from not public, graduate, which means this is 0 0.10. All right. Any, anytime I need an endpoint, so like public and graduate, I'm just going to multiply if I need that. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to answer the question. What is the probably randomly selected student that went to public school given 
that we know that they graduated college. So the given tells us we're going to do a conditional probability. And I have it written out here for you. The probability that the, they go to public school given that they graduated. And again, I'd like you to fill in the formula. You fill in the formula. It tells you what to do. It tells you which one to divide by. We're good to go. All right. So uh, what is the probability that they go to a public school and they graduate? Now, in this case, it's not like the table. This you actually have to do some multiplication because there's two events going on. So we're going to do public and graduate. So that's multiplication. So I'm going to do 0 0.70 times 0.75. And I'm going to divide it by all of the possibilities that a student would graduate. Well, they can come from public school and graduate, or they can go not public school and graduate. So I have two things. I have to mul multiply these two, and I have to add these two get together. All right, those if I had three branches, I would do I would add all three things together. That's in some places it's called Bayes theorem. All right, so we're going to go 0 0.70 times 0 0.75. This is public and graduate plus 0 0.90 oops, 0.25 times 0 0.90, which is not public and graduate. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply that. Now, if you use this little guy in the calculator, make sure you put the entire denominator in parentheses. I would not put parentheses, like don't over parentheses yourself, okay? All you're going to do is you're going to go parentheses. So this is what it would look like in the calculator. 0 0.70 times 0 0.75 with a close parentheses, and then you're going to do divided by, and another parentheses, and you're going to do 0 0.70 times 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.90 and then a close parentheses okay and that should give you the answer there and that's going to end up being uh with the with video magic 0.66 all right so that's an example of a a conditional probability using a tree diagram let's take a look at the last one here which is a conditional probability using a venn diagram so a venn diagram happens when we have two events and we have an overlapping piece in the event. So like um, two things happen, and then what's the probability that they, they both happen and we're given that information. So that overlap makes what we call a Venn diagram. So the two events here are a refrigerator and a TV. And you will notice that if you add up 52, 38, and 21, you're gonna get 111%. We don't, we don't have 111% in probabilities. You can't do it, you can't have over 100%. So something already doesn't make sense, which means you know that we're gonna use a contingency table I'm sorry a Venn diagram so we're gonna do easiest thing to do is to fill in the both piece first okay the both is gonna be in the middle I'm gonna say 0.21 now the refrigerator all of this is gonna be 0.38 which means the piece that's missing I'm gonna subtract and I'm gonna get that piece to be 0.17 some of you are how do I get that how'd you get 0.17 well 0.17 plus 0.21 is 0.38 okay so they add up together to get that so I also know that this piece right here the TV is 52% so what does that make that part right there well if I add them together I should have 31 all right now that I've built my um, and if you want not anything you would just add those and subtract one and you'd get the amount that's not um, refrigerator or a TV Okay, you can just subtract. So um, how do we do this conditional probability? What is the probability of random select a dorm room that has a TV given that we know that there's a refrigerator? So we've got the given there, right there. We've got a conditional probability. We're going to write out, write out the formula with the fraction. The probability of getting a T, uh, somebody, a dorm room with a TV and a refrigerator is 21%. Piece of cake because it told us. The probability of getting somebody with a refrigerator is the whole thing, not just refrigerator, but you know anybody with refrigerator. That's 0.38. Okay, I got that from right here. It's this whole circle. And then I'm going to do my calculation in my calculator, and I'm going to get that right there. All right. And there you go, folks. That is an example of a conditional probability using a Venn diagram. So there you go. Tables. Trees and Venn diagrams. Oh my. Catch you guys later. Bye.